Welcome to the Laird Thermal Systems Thermal Wizard product training module for enclosure cooling. This is the second of four product training modules for our advanced thermal management tool that helps design engineers find the optimal solution to their thermal design issues. You will learn how to use the Thermal Wizard and the enclosure cooling calculator. With increasing frequency, Engineers of all disciplines need assistance in solving their heat dissipation or critical thermal management problems. If you need a thermal wizard, or if you are that thermal wizard that coworkers count on, then you are familiar with the design challenges related to thermal management problems. They include selecting the right thermal management solution to meet specified or unknown cooling requirements, or QC, or developing trial designs to solve what-if scenarios and knowing when to engage with a thermal solutions vendor to prototype custom configurations. Laird Thermal Systems has developed the Thermal Wizard to solve all these issues. It is designed to help engineers quickly determine the optimum cooling solution based on their cooling requirement. Whether your application requires a thermoelectric cooler, thermoelectric cooler assembly, or liquid cooling system, the Thermal Wizard is a web-based specification and selection tool that links product search to thermal calculators to product availability. It is available on any web browser and on any computing platform, PC, Mac, iPhone, Android, running a web browser. If you know your heat load or desired cooling requirement, you can use the QC slider. This has two major outputs the actual QC requirement and the delta T that your application requires. The delta T is the amount of temperature difference that the thermoelectric device is going to have to pull heat through. In this example, we will work with a QC requirement of 240 watts with a delta T of zero degrees C. Now hit search and the results will appear below. The selection of 240 watts and zero degrees C delta T will produce a number of thermoelectric coolers and assemblies. We will ignore the thermoelectric cooler options for now since we are looking for an enclosure cooling solution to cool a volume of air. We will choose the DA280-24-02 as our example. Next we will click this part number and access the active data sheet. If we need samples for engineering evaluation, we can check stock by clicking the Buy Now button. Now we will take this general recommendation and verify that it meets our specific application. First, we can check that the mechanical dimensions of the part will fit in our application. Next, we can turn to the tuning of the thermal performance and make certain the DA280-2402 meets application requirements. The first thing we can do is check that the cooling power of the DA280-2402 meets the 240-watt cooling requirement at the specified temperature of 20 degrees C. This is done by changing the control temperature and the ambient temperature to 20 degrees C and then clicking the Update button. With the drop in operating temperature from 35 degrees C to 20 degrees C, the cooling power dropped from 290 watts to 279 watts at 24 volts, which still meets the 240 watt spec with 39 watts of margin. If you do not know the cooling requirement, or QC, for your application, the Thermal Wizard provides four calculators device cooling, enclosure cooling, air cooling, or liquid cooling, each with pre-programmed examples to help you define the QC value and quickly get your design underway. This product training module will focus on the enclosure cooling calculator. In this example, we will use the enclosure cooling calculator to find the requirements of cooling a box of electronics. The first step is to select the example nearest your application, which in this case would be the electronics cabinet. In this view, you will notice that there are multiple sides to control heat transfer, 
solar gain and also whether it has insulation or not. In this case we are going to add a glass door at the front. Therefore we will take the insulation away from the glass door and eliminate the solar gain since this is in an indoor application. Notice that as we make those changes the cooling load is constantly being updated on the right side under calculation results. In this case, our total requirement is 240.2 watts, of which 80 watts come from our active dissipation, while the other 160.2 watts is passive. So the amount of heat load depends on the amount of electronics requiring cooling in the cabinet and whether it is operating or not. In this example, we will run 100 watts of electronics in this box, which will be kept at room temperature even if the ambient increases to 35 degrees C. In addition, we will have a delta T of 10 degrees C and will use a 12.7 millimeter foam insulation to cut down on heat flow through the sides. Now click search and you will see the thermoelectric cooler assemblies that meet our specifications in both 24 and 48 volt configurations. From this table, we can also see whether or not they're available from distribution. This search produces two thermoelectric assemblies that are available at these specifications, one at 24 volts and the other at 48 volts. From here, we can either click the part number for an interactive data sheet, which will allow further adjustments to the thermal operating environment, or check distributor stock by clicking the Buy Now button. If a quantity buy is anticipated or mechanical customization of part is required, use the Request Quote button to communicate with Laird Thermal Systems Sales or Engineering. In summary, the Thermal Wizard is an advanced thermal management tool that helps determine the optimum cooling solution based on your application requirements. When you don't know your cooling requirement, the Thermal Wizard's QC calculators provide pre-programmed examples for different applications. See Thermal Wizard Training Module Number 1 for device cooling, Training Module Number 3 for air cooling, Training Module Number 4 for liquid cooling. The Thermal Wizard not only provides standard solutions, it will also determine when you may need to engage with a thermal solution expert to customize a thermal solution.